To permutate the last layer, we're going to start by doing the corners. Okay. When we're finished, it will look like this, where all the corners are in the correct positions. Now, when you're first doing this, don't line up the edges and say, hey, the edges are lined up, the corners aren't right. Do the corners first. The edges is the last step. But this is what it should look like when you're finished. At least the corners will. So to do this, we're going to start by looking for a pair. Hey, look, there we go. We got a pair. We got a blue and a blue. So we're going to put the blue in the back, or the pair in the back, and do this algorithm. Right inverse, front, right inverse, B2, R, F prime, R, prime, B2, R2. And there you go. As you notice, we have the same position as this cube. All of the corners are solved. Really, it's an easy step. You just need to memorize the algorithm. Um, if you come to a case where you do not have a pair, you don't have a pair, then it doesn't really matter what position you start from as long as you do that algorithm. After doing that algorithm, you will get a pair, and then you could put that pair in the back and do the algorithm again. So let's go ahead and go to the very last step, which is getting the edges in the correct position. Because at this point, it's almost solved. We just need to get the edges. Okay, let's go ahead and do the first two cases. Um, probably the easiest case is going to be um, where the pieces are just opposite of each other, like this. Blue is opposite of green, and green is opposite of blue, orange is opposite of red, and red is opposite to orange. So basically these, these just need to be flipped like that. It's kind of like a plus. Those two and those two. It makes like a plus. This is probably the easiest one. So here's the algorithm for it. Um, uh, M move, by the way, is this middle layer. Is this middle layer. So we're going to do M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. Very easy. I'll do it one more time. There we go. They're all opposites. Um, M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. There we go. The next case is what I like to, is what is called Z, the Z perm. Um, it's where these two pieces need to be switched, and then on the other side, these two pieces need to be switched. It's kind of like double parallel lines if you look at it like that. You're gonna hold, you're gonna hold it like this. It's where the two of them that you need to switch are in the front and the right, and the other is in the left and the back. And this is the algorithm. Now, there is another algorithm that doesn't use M moves, um, but I don't use that algorithm, so I'm going to be showing you the M move. It starts out the same way as the other one. M2, U, M2, U2, I'm sorry, U, one U, M prime, which is going upwards, U2, U2, I'm sorry, M2, U2, M prime, again, that's going upwards, M prime, and then U2. Let's do that again. Okay, again, so we're going to have front, right, left, and back. M2, U, M2, U, M prime, U2, M2, U2, M prime, U2. And I apologize for kind of messing up the algorithms a little bit. Um, so those are the first two cases. Now there's only four cases, so we already done half of them. All right, the last two cases is if there's a piece that's already solved. Um, the f first two cases where all four of them were unsolved, these are where one of them is solved. And that solved one is going to go in the back. Just like the previous one when you're doing the corners, the corner goes in the back, the pair. The one that's solved also goes in the back. So it's, these are really easy to recognize. The first one we're going to do, or both of these, are, are um, edge cycles, where, where the edges cycle each other, either a clockwise pattern like this, or a counterclockwise pattern like this. Let's go ahead and do the clockwise pattern first. So we need to go green to green. That red goes there, and that orange comes around here. So this is the clockwise pattern, because it goes in this direction. This is the move. 
R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. Let's go and do it again. R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R. That is the clockwise. Okay, this is the other one. This is the counterclockwise. So that blue needs to go there, that red needs to go there, and that orange needs to swing around and go this way. Counterclockwise. This is the algorithm. R U prime, R U, R U, R U prime, R prime, U prime, R two. Now you'll notice that that algorithm is the exact opposite of the clockwise algorithm. Makes sense, right? So it's kind of the same thing with soon and anti soon. They're just opposites of each other, these two edge cycles. Okay, let me do that one more time. So we have R U prime, R U, R U, R U prime, R prime, U prime. R2. Now, if you come to a situation where you don't know all your algorithms yet, I mean, with this new method, you have to learn a bunch of new ones. I understand that. Um, but, for example, in the clockwise one, is the exact opposite of the counterclockwise. So, what we can do is we can do the clockwise one twice. Now, in this situation, we have to do the counterclockwise. But I don't know it yet. Let's just say I'm beginning and I don't know it yet, but I still want to do this solve real fast. I'm just going to do the clockwise one twice, and that works. Let's do it. This is the clockwise pattern. Okay. Now I have to do it again, and I don't have to worry about changing position or anything because it's already set up, ready to go. Hey, look at that. Solved. So, there you go. That is how you solve the edges. Okay, so your Rubik's Cube, or cubes, should be solved now. Um, I tried to go as in detail with this tutorial as I could. Um, there are, um, again, this is just a little simplified version of the Frederick's method, which is used by world record holders and cube champions, I guess you could say. Um, this is a good method to learn if you're wanting something a little bit faster than the th layer by layer method, but you don't want to learn a thousand new algorithms or spend the time learning a super complicated method. Um, and simplified, so it should be easy to understand. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post a comment below. Um, I will try to put as many algorithms as I can in the description box, the video description box off to the right here. One last thing before I close up the video. Um, if you want tips on how to get faster at the Rubik's Cube technically, not with a method, like for example, maybe you want to learn, learn how to move the pieces faster. Like you see on the pros, they, they move the cube really, really fast and the pieces seem to fly all over the place. Um, if you want to know how to do that, I also have a tutorial for that. It's called the Finger Tricks Tutorial. And you can go onto my page and look up the Finger Tricks Tutorial and it will tell you everything you need to know on how to get faster with your, with your hands. It's not really a method but it'll help you with any method that you use and it'll get faster. Okay, that concludes this tutorial. I hope it helps and thank you for watching.